tornadoes. What can you do with them, especially when they weigh 215 pounds? Sir, if you would, tell us who you are. I'm Uriah Verzi, and uh, I'm a returning two-time state champion. I'm hoping to get my third state title next year. And, of course, uh, you, you go to Paducah Tillman. Yes. You're part of the, uh, I guess, the dynasty, if you will, Paducah yeah. Tillman has created. Now, you guys have already watched, or you should have watched if you haven't. Go back and watch it after this. Um, Eli Payton video and 2022 you had Eli you had Malachi and you yeah and everybody was like the, the state had to take notice like whoa what's what's going on in Paducah I mean what yeah, where, a... where are these guys coming from and we'll get to your your junior year just in a second this current year but let's kind of talk about how you got into wrestling what what gets you into high school or just wrestling in general actually Ted um Back before wrestling was football, mm -hmm. and wrestling was kind of just to stay in shape, really. And, I got you. Uh, I soon figured out that it evolved more than that and kind of became my passion. Mm -hmm. I actually am going to shout out to Livy, uh, my coach, my head coach now. He really stuck it out for me and helped me keep going with it, and we had all these good talks, and that's where I'm at. That's why where I'm at now mm -hmm. with these two state titles he kind of helped me get there in a, in a big way yeah no and like like i said we'll talk about 2023 here later but you said you were a two-time state champion 2002 2023 and paducah tillman man they're they're rolling they're on fire it's honestly really historic i, mm -hmm. I like how i was a part of it uh, oh yeah of my, course uh, like you said eli payton the video before this mm. He really helped me get there in a big way, too. Yeah. He, uh, like, man, in the practice room, it was me and him pulling everyone with us. Uh, I got you. I jumped on board with him, and that's what got me here, really, in this first year. And the um, – let's let's throw talk real quick about your, your bracket, your 2022 bracket. Now, of course, this is the uh, semi-state era, first, first round state, if you will. We're not really going to go over that. Uh, we're going to go over just your four bouts at – the final round state tournament. First round, you're wrestling Diego. We're going to say it's, and we don't mean to mispronounce anybody's name, but Diego uh, Peltier from Madison Central. You win that by a fall in a minute, 17 seconds. Quarterfinals, you're wrestling Austin Silva from John Harden. You win that by a seven to one decision. And Austin goes on in 2023 and he wins. He beats Chase Price in the. Uh, 23 state championship same weight class and in the same in the same weight and man austin was tough yeah he's just uh he was honestly one of the hardest matches if not the hardest match of this of this tournament i i believe that i believe that now semifinals you're wrestling rocky whitehead mm -hmm. from madison southern you win that by a 3-0 decision and rocky was in the heavyweight state finals this past year he um he wrestled the kid from uh carter gilliam yeah from St. Xavier, and he come up a little bit short in that one. But, I mean, man, you, you've got a murderer's row here, your quarterfinals and semifinals. But we get to your first plate, your championship bout. You're wrestling Jackson Gillier from Woodford County. We're not going to tell you how it ends, but, of course, you win it. But we've got the video queued up. You ready to go back to GRC and watch it? Oh, man, I am. I'm let's let's go. It. Let's go. So you've I've got. Never, I've never you've actually got, wrestled Jackson before this. Oh really? Yeah, it's the first time seeing him this year. You've got uh, Blake on the whistle, and you've got that uh, Rocky, his dad, on as the assistant. I'm gonna turn the volume down just a smidge. Oh wow, that's crazy going back here. Oh yeah, and this past year, uh, I think you were wrestling Zach McCourt mm -hmm. in the semis, and your dad come up and sit down kind of like on the rail there and he had his phone's like i want to record my son and i was like oh my gosh that's that's your eyes dad and as soon as i looked at him i was like man dude, i can tell there's so you shoot in yeah, get they, that leg they've always been very uh very just whatever whatever makes me happy they've always helped me try to achieve it hey, whatever that's... they can Oh, there the it is. Good lift. Right there. Good lift. That's what won me the match. That my, you, get my a, two. you get a takedown. Yeah. I'm trying to ride here. I'm trying mm -hmm. to just take this win. Yeah. 
and this was uh, Woodford County's second wrestler in the finals. They had um, the Androni mm -hmm. Gavin, uh, Gavin. He got beat by Reese Goss in yeah. the 144-pound. I was big in this. I cut a lot of weight this season. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. And the dreads. Wow. Yeah, you got the dreads going on, man. Mm -hmm. Now, I think I saw your mom at the state this year, and she has dreads, right? Big, like, long, long dreads. I was going to say, how long How long she been growing those? Oh, she does, uh, she cuts them off every, like, seven years. Oh, really? Yeah. And Reed does it. These are, those were, like, two years long right there. Oh, my there. goodness. I, got I can't them, imagine seven years. I got them to three, and then for the state tournament, okay. I cut them off. I got you. I wanted to come in fresh. Mm hmm. I know. Hey, I, I oh, get it. Different man. Try it. I, man, this ride right here, which mm -hmm. again, Livy, uh, halfway through the season, we kind of just dissected everything how I wrestle and and uh, just kind of perfected what I was good at. And no, I, I, would stick I get this it. This ride on everyone. This is how I won against Rocky. Mm hmm. Rode him out the entire. If you're watching this and the coloration of us isn't the best, I've, like I said, we're we got one external light, a couple lights above us, so just en enjoy the uh, enjoy the footage. Yeah. There it is. He so was you get fast. He was athletic. Yep. He gets his one. Now I think you placed third in fifth. fifth the year before. The year before, okay. Because I ended up uh, breaking the cartilage in my rib. Oh, did you really? Yeah, I had to come back. All right, I think we got some, I, some blood time or injury time one. Last year, I uh, beat everyone leading up to it, right? Mm -hmm. And established that I was like first and first round, number ninth or number fifth, fifth ranked kid. Mm -hmm. Ended up coming out of nowhere and beating everyone there, taking the tournament. That's why this year, I, like, I came with a storm my first. That's why I got the fall and everything. I was really going. So you right now I'm just I'm just holding position. I'll say you you guys are like two bulls going at it, man. Just yeah. two big monsters. That underhook has really saved me this year. Mm -hmm. That's where I live. We're out. We're neutral. We're out. We're neutral. I like to say loose when I'm wrestling. I don't want to be flexing the whole time. Yeah. No. I hey. I listen, man. I get it. Take it as it comes, right? Yeah. Be like, uh, you know, there's that under again. There it is. It. Like trying for like a whip or some type of yeah, cement, cement mixer. You got one minute left. Rocky, your pocket's out, bub. I love you, but your pocket was out here on on the on the video. Oh yeah, your back right pocket's out. <laughs> I'm sure I'll hear about that one when I see him. So, holding it. There it is. Yep. Trying to get to it. Yeah, you're you're brutal with that underhook, man. Yeah. Punching it hard. But I mean, that's part about wrestling. People don't understand or are new to the sport. I mean, 215, your 285s, man. I mean, they don't. They're gonna be. Just because how big you guys are, yeah. they're going to be violent. It's more muscle, too. Like, you got to be, it's, it's like you said, like two bulls running mm -hmm. at each other. It's just clashing the entire time. That's that's something as a as a referee, you know, I know um, when two men that are 215, 285 pounds, they collide, there's going to be some noise. It's going to mm -hmm. it's gonna be, so we don't stop every single. A lot uh, of headbutts. A yeah. lot. <laughs> kind of caution. Hey, guys, watch your heads. Watch your heads. Yeah. So you take down, you I get up, you get that, your one. That's another thing Livy's hard on is you always take down, get mm -hmm. that extra point. Yeah. Because you know you can get up, but mm -hmm. you really just try hard enough. Always touch the mat, too. That was another. It was about Father Ryan. I went to a fa the tournament Father Ryan. Right. And after that tournament, me and Eli both locked in and figured out what we needed to do to get it done. Sometimes that's what it takes, man, to kind of reset. Refocus yourself. Mm -hmm. So you're up three to one. You got about a minute twenty three left. Are you cognizant of the clock of the score? Oh yeah, I'm saying hand fight, hand fight, take center. I'm just trying to be.
speed them up until that time runs out. Right. Not. See, I'm like shoot for these attempts. Mm-hmm. Trying to get it done still. Shooting them out of bounds. Trying to get that stall point. Now that's smart. I mean, that really is. A minute, three seconds left. Uh, anytime you're on the edge, always shoot them out. Even if it's not a good shot, you're attempting. Trying to get to it. And if you're hearing um, other noises, we're here at the FCA camp at Campbellsville University this weekend, so they're doing some instructions down below us, so that's probably what you're hearing. Different view. Though. Yeah, different view, man. We got it all going on here. Mm -hmm. I can't believe how big I was. You'll see the difference in this next video. Oh, yeah. Oh, ooh. That was a good good sprawl by you. Holding it. Holding it down. Rocky does a drive-by. Wonder what he said to him. Oh. Stalling. Stalling green. green. That's what it was. Yeah. I'm trying to hold center. Look at that. I don't know why they called it. Right now you can tell we're both pretty gassed. Mm -hmm. We're trying to just Man, this is the grid it out. You can be tired tomorrow, right? Yeah. You yeah, can be you can be tired some other time. Literally six minutes if you can just hold it there out. There it is. Look. Last. There it is. <laughs> State championship number uh -huh. one of prob of possible three, at least one of two. And you go over. We'll take ankle bands off. Mm -hmm. Get a hug from the coach. That Always. was good, man. Always. Always. Now um, we'll talk. There's a lot more that we want to talk about in the 23, but I'm, you probably watched it. 150 oh, yeah. million times. Oh, yeah. Does it play out the way you remember? or? Oh, when it comes down to wrestling, it never really plays out the way you remember it. When you're wrestling, you get into like a flow. I got you. You're just going. You don't remember what moves you hit mm -hmm. really until you watch it back a hundred times. It was, and on the, I'm not trying to interject myself into this, but on the channel, the very, very bottom videos, there's a couple events where I compete in some jujitsu tournaments, one in Cincinnati, one in um, Charleston, West Virginia, and of course win both matches there on the channel. But the um, the one in Charleston, guy takes me down. Uh, I'm trying like for a submission, and he was 100 and I think 74. I was 135. They combined the classes to make an absolute, and I ended up getting a triangle submission on him. But I didn't realize until after I watched it that he was poking me in the eyes, like he was trying to like literally gouge my eyes and I wasn't even noticing until I watched I was like this guy was trying to gouge my what's this guy doing <laughs> and like you said you know you get into a flow of it you knew what you were trying to do I know what I was trying to do I knew what my best offense was if I got took down and I ain't like I said get the triangle then the eye poke doesn't matter and the, the, the yeah. eye poke like he does like five or six times you're like what what is this yeah. guy doing if I didn't know that I'd have probably done it back to him but it was just like I said you get in a flow you don't realize what you know, you're just, you're there, you're competing. Now, if he'd have, you know, threw a punch, it'd have been a different story. But, like, when you're just, you know what you're going for, I guess the outside stuff doesn't bother you so much, right? Yeah. You, get, like, you really can't even think about the outside yep. stuff. Well, all right. That's all we got for 2022. We're going to stop it here. We're going to do another video. We'll see you guys in 2023.